boys and girls. Today we're gonna take out that packet again that we've been working on. And I want you to open up to the passage, Tricky Insects. You can pause the video if you don't have it ready, if you need to find it. See that leaf moving in the wind? Look again, it is an insect. It looks just like a leaf. Hungry birds do not know it's a bug. They do not try to eat it. Some butterflies look like dried leaves. They rest with their wings together to match the real leaves around them. The colorful parts of their wings are hidden until they fly away. Another bug that wears a costume is the stick insect. It looks like its name, a stick. This insect hides in the leaves and twigs of a tree. It can turn green or brown to match the colors around it. Some stick insects are tiny. Others are a foot long. Insects are very clever. Maybe the next time you take a walk, you will see one pretending to be something else. Draw to show. This is what I think a stick insect looks like. So I'd like you to pause the video, take a minute, and draw what you think the stick insect looks like. And you can use the words from the passage that might help you. It looks like a leaf. It might look like its name, like a stick. Um, it hides in the leaves and twigs of a tree. It can turn greener ground. Some are tiny, some are long. So I'm gonna have you pause and go ahead and draw that. Okay, question number one. Another good title for the passage would be, A, matching colors, B, hungry birds, C, insects and plants, D, great pretenders. What do you think would be another good name for this passage? I know what I think. I don't think it really talks about matching colors too much. I don't really think it talked about hungry birds at all. It did talk a little bit about insects and plants, but I liked Great Pretenders the best because these are some tricky insects that can pretend to look like something else. Number two, birds do not, and they underline that, eat leaf insects because they cannot see them, cannot catch them, do not know they are bugs, do not think they taste good. So why does the bird not eat it? And I see that answer right at the top. Take a minute to go back in that first paragraph, see if you can find the answer and highlight it. right up here. Hungry birds do not know it is a bug. And then when you come down here, they don't know that they are bugs. That's why I always like to highlight my answer in the passage. Then you know it's correct when you go down to the bottom. Number three, some butterflies look like dried leaves so that they can catch bugs, rest, fly away, close their wings. Now, if you go up in that second paragraph, it tells you the answer. So take a minute to take out that highlighter, see if you can find it. And I highlight it here. The colorful part of their wings are hidden until they fly away. So I chose C, fly away. Question number four. One way stick insects are different from real sticks is that they have legs, track birds, are up in trees, look like wood. So one way that stick insects are different from real sticks. 
Okay, so something that's different. Well, it can trick a bird. It is in the tree. It does look like wood. So I think the difference is going to be a real stick does not have legs.